All right, here we are. They, they, uh, there was an extra plug done on a storm thing. Uh, attention has been brought to the, those bad cracks in the seawall sea over there. That, if that's fixed, it'll make a difference. Today's tide, I haven't checked the thing, but I want to say it wasn't any higher than yesterday's, even though it was supposed to be. I want to say that the lines came closer together on the difference and discrepancy because I passed through the MacArthur. I made one last loop through Miami and then came back and actually had, you know, just got here at 7.30, so past the peak. But the Star Island and the Prawn Island Bridge were, uh, it wasn't up to the, it was, you know, it's into the arch, you know, the arch is like this and then it goes down, but, uh, uh, but it wasn't filling the arch, which is only a few inch difference, so from what I can tell in the actual bay, this tide was not any higher than the one last night, so not to say if anything it was equal and uh, the couple inches of, you know, this is only two inches lower than it was yesterday. Just that two inches makes all that difference rushing in there. So, because it wasn't rushing over that gray thing, it was coming around the sides and a tiny bit when cars went by. So really it's only a three inch save, uh, so to speak, but uh, it, it, it roughly evens out uh, so that it, it's not a, not a miraculous difference for the last minute measures done over there. And higher tides are coming, uh, bar a change. The winds are supposed to switch even more easterly now for the next few days. Not strong, but definite easterly, not, you know, westerly offshore winds. So, uh, and the tides are supposed to be, if, to, if this was supposed to be a 3.3, in a few days it's supposed to be 3.9. So it would have to, the lines would have to really come together by 0.7 feet to make it no worse than this. And that's probably not gonna happen. I, I probably is taming down. I just, I suspect that for sure. The lines are coming closer. Uh, this is speculation, obviously. Um, but it looks like this tide was saved. You know, this was not, not bad at all. Not too bad anywhere, really. Not, not too bad, so. Good job, and apparently only a third of that publicized budget, the Herald just stamps out those numbers. They, you know, they have their grammatical errors all the time. Uh, the big 500 million thing, apparently it, it might not be, not that much has been spent for sure so far. And there's already way results. I mean, we're sensationalizing here, to be honest, this building, this, Sunshine Bay, 1441 Lincoln Court, whatever. You know, this is the garage that flooded. The garage over there still didn't flood the one on uh, Bay Road. So uh, the rest of the beach has stayed dry. Minor things, mid beach on Alton Road, minor the ends of driveways into the edge of the road, nothing serious. Even Brickell over the curbs, but not, not into anybody's carriage of their vehicle. So the 36th Street building was fine. I was there just past peak, uh, an inch on the, on the floor, but uh, seemed to be steady, so. Yeah, no, no big news this morning.